Use LandXML files to transfer data between Point Prep and other LandXML compatible software. In this movie, I'm going to create a new drawing and import a LandXML file into it. In the Project Manager, I'm going to click New and call it Subdivision. I'm going to click OK to accept the default options, and I'm going to close my toolbox. We'll go to the Import Export menu choose LandXML import-export and run the LandXML import command. I'm going to import a sample LandXML file that is installed with Point Prep. This is in your My Documents, Microsurvey, Jobs, Sample Data folder. Point Prep will show you the elements that can be imported and in this case you can see that we're going to import 286 points, several road alignments, several parcels or lots, and two surface models. If you want to exclude some elements, just uncheck them. I'm going to leave everything selected and click Import. If your LandXML file contains any surface models, you'll be asked how you want to draw each model. For now, I'm going to choose None so that the surface models will be imported but not drawn. As you can see, we've imported and drawn several points, lots, and roads. The points have been loaded into the Points database you can see the coordinates by clicking on any of the points. The surface models, while I've not yet drawn them, were loaded into the modeling engine and can now be used for drawing contours, calculating volumes, and much more. If I go back out to the extents, I'm going to run my modeling contour command. I'm going to select the EG or existing ground surface model. and draw the contours. Similarly, if we run the tin command, again I'm going to choose to draw the existing ground surface. And there we go. The benefit to drawing the tin afterwards, rather than during the LandXML import, is that we can use Point Prep's advanced coloring options to draw the tin using its elevation, slope, or other methods.